What's up, Will Hirsch fans? It's Blade Bias here with BalsongFlipping.com. And I just wanted to talk a little bit today about something that I was thinking about as a topic or idea for uh, for this video, which is who should be making song tutorials? And of course, there's always uh, different answers when I ask people. Um, but I think my answer is probably going to surprise you because I think that the best culprit is somebody who has been making, has been learning a trick for a short period of time but also too um, can do the trick pretty well, like consistently. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because I was watching an Instagram video today that was talking about the topic and it was basically a guy and he was saying like, when you reach a certain point um, within your practicing of something, it becomes like the brain and the body meld together and they basically like work together to have this process of like talking to each other, like the body interacts with the brain and then you know, they slowly work together to kind of solve the problem of how to do something. And the thing about that is, um, the thing about that is when you really think about it, um, we're all that way, but eventually it becomes synonymous to where the brain and the body no longer can have to consult with each other because you do it so often that your body is just <laughs> sent the crack and flying, but no, you, your body does it subconsciously. And when you reach that point, man, I cannot land that zero G. But when you reach that point, your brain's basically like, okay, we do this now, um, like subconsciously, like there's no more active thought. And when you reach that point, you sort of like get rid of the extra catch data of like, oh, this is how I do this trick, right? Ooh, that could have been bad. Like, oh, this is how I do this trick, right? And then once you do it, you just do it and you don't think about it like that. And so that's always the interesting point is like, now you're at a point where you don't know how you do your things. You don't know how you do your tricks, you just do them. And so that's why sometimes people who have been doing tricks for so long or some of the best people are not necessarily the best tutors for how to do tricks that you might be interested in. And so it's always a, that's always an interesting thing. But also too, there's the opposite side where I see people sometimes teaching tricks that they have no business teaching. <laughs> so that's always interesting. But at the same time, I mean, it's give and take, you know what I'm saying? You want somebody who knows the trick, but you want somebody who knows they know the trick. Um, or not knows they know the trick, but knows like why they're successful in what they're doing. And so for that reason, I would say, oh, almost had it. So for that reason, I would say like, when you first learn a trick and you're, you, you shouldn't do a tutorial when you first learn it, but when you're getting it down, like when you're practicing it, that's whenever, whoa, that's whenever you're primed to do a tutorial for it. So if you guys are interested in doing tutorials or you want to be like that guy that's always doing tutorials or the tutorial person, I would say that the best time to, to, to teach the trick to somebody else is not always whenever you already have been doing it for a while, but maybe whenever you uh, reach that point where you almost can get it down consistently but it's not all you think about, right? It's not like you just instantly can hit it any time, but you you know, like you're thinking consciously. Like for example, like if I were to throw the draft, I have to stop, whoa, I have to stop for a second and think about it because it's not an easy trick for me to do, as you can fucking see. But, um, you know, versus, I'm not gonna even try it anymore. But yeah, but versus somebody who's can do them on command every time, those people, it's just cause I was trying to show you, of course that would happen. But those people are the people who maybe might not be the best culprit to teach you something because they already they already know it, you know what I'm saying? And they're not they're not thinking about how they do it. They're just thinking to do it. So as you kind of come along in this game of tutorials and ballad songs and everything like that, just remember that you want to keep track of what makes you good at flipping and then keep track of um, you know how good you are at a trick because sometimes the better you are the worse off you're gonna be at teaching the trick because your body and mind already do it as one. You become a subconscious master of the trick. So that's kind of just where I'm coming from along that line. So yeah, kind of interesting, something to talk about, something to think about um, as you're practicing these tricks and showing people. But yeah, that's basically the topic for today's video. Rock on.